This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. AutoCAD has a tool in it that will record what you do, save it, and play it back again, recreating exactly what you did. There's a lot of potential with this, but yet it can be difficult to find a way to apply it, I'll have to admit. This tool is called the Action Recorder. If you go to the Manage tab on the ribbon, the Action Recorder panel is here on the left. The Action Recorder will record your actions and save them in a file that you can play later. You can also share that file with others so that they can play it back or use it. All of the actions you record can be played back completely automated. Or you can program it or edit it so that they can ask for user endpoint. Let me create a very simple action macro and edit the recording and play it back. Let's draw a bolt head with six sides in plan view. Very simple. Any units will be fine. We'll start the circle command. Draw it. Let's give it a diameter of one unit. And then start the polygon command. Six sides from the center, circumscribed at about see here 0.7 that looks like a bolt head now what we could do is copy it over and over again and that's extremely simple to do we could even create a block uh, make it a dynamic block so that we could change the sides of it so this may be a very simple example but let's record that action now with our action recorder to do that go to the action recorder and press record. It's recording. You see the little red dot at my crosshairs, that means it's recording. This window is called the action tree. This is a temporary name for it. We can give it a name later on. For right now, every time we do a step, it will show up in this action tree. And we can go back later and change that a little bit. So let's take the exact same steps. C for circle see it was added. We need an insertion point. It puts the coordinates up here on the screen. Tell it diameter. Again that shows up in the action tree with one. There we go. It's still recording. Let's do our polygon. Number of sides, six. Grab the center point of our circle. Circumscribed about the circle and a radius of 0.7. Now, you can see all of our steps are right here in the action tree. But we're still recording, so when you're done, press stop. Give it a name. You can't have any spaces or anything in the name. This is the file, and this is where it's saved at. Click OK. And there we go. Now this is just a circle and a polygon, nothing fancy. But if we go and from this list, select what we have available to us, the bolt head, press play, and it's done. See, it drew it exactly where it was before, because these are the coordinates for the circle. If I were to erase all of these, play it again, it's drawn again. So what we need to do is go back and tell it to pause for user input. This little glyph here tells you that you're going to pause for user input. So if we play it again, asking us for the center point of the circle, and there you go. Now I can play this as many times as I want, and it will keep drawing it wherever I would tell it to. Pretty simple, pretty interesting. I can delete these, and I can also change it to give me a prompt. Right click, insert user message, and say pick point of insertion. Okay. Now, if I press play, pick my point of insertion, and it's drawn. The zoom extends over here. And there we go. What do you think that you could apply action recordings to in your workflow?